Hello students, now we will see Kolb's electrolysis. This reaction is named after the scientist Hermann Kolb. It is a decarboxylation reaction. Decarboxylation means removal of carbon dioxide. Two molecules of sodium acetate in aqueous medium on electrolysis we get ethane carbon dioxide sodium hydroxide and hydrogen two molecules of sodium acetate reacts sodium acetate during electrolysis, this sodium acetate ionizes as CH3COO- and Na+. Sodium acetate, it ionizes as CH3COO- and Na+. So, in an electrolytic process, we know the vessel, electrolytic vessel has a cathode and anode. This is the cathode and this is the anode the electrolyte is sodium acetate and at the anode oxidation takes place and at the cathode reduction takes place on electrolysis the sodium acetate ionizes as CH3COO- and Na+. So this acetate ion goes to the anode and discharges electron at the cathode gives electron to the cathode and the product got at the anode is ethane and carbon dioxide. And the product got at the cathode is hydrogen. Hydrogen gas is got at the cathode. Now we will see the equation. At the anode oxidation takes place. Anode oxidation takes place. Oxidation means its loss of electron. So this acetate anion CH3 COO minus it loses electron and becomes a radical this is acetate free radical remember one thing this acetate uh, minus charge CH3 COO minus the minus contains two electrons so one electron is discharged at the cathode one electron is given so remaining one electron this is the unpaired electron so it is a free radical we are taking two acetate uh, sodium acetate so two ch3 coo minus gives two electrons and two free radical the next step is this free radical acetate free radical it ch3 coo free radical now again there is a cleavage between this methyl and this carbon that the bond breaks the bond breaks we know that it contains electrons one bond contains two electrons so two electrons in this bond and this electron there is a homolytic cleavage one electron is given to carbon dioxide and another electron is given to the methyl group so ch3 becomes a radical it has an unpaired electron and CO2 already one electron and this electron they make a bond and become CO2 gas so in this step we get methyl radical and carbon dioxide gas next step is this methyl radical they dimerize that means it joins and form ethane CH3 two molecules of this methyl radical they dimerize CH3 CH3 forms a bond these two unpaired electrons forms a bond and form ethane so in the anode we get carbon dioxide gas and ethane 
since two molecules were taken everywhere to write two two here by taking two methyl radical we get ethane at the cathode <coughs> reduction takes place reduction means gain of electron that is reduction is gain of electron this water molecule it gains electron and forms oh minus and hydrogen gas so take two water molecules and uh, two electrons it takes two electrons and two oh minus now this oh minus with sodium this so na plus na plus and oh minus they form naoh the sodium naoh sodium hydroxide remains in the solution okay so at the cathode we get hydrogen gas and at the anode we get carbon dioxide and methane 